In this video, I'm gonna be showing you Slider Revolution version five. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is that I've had a few comments from you guys that in my older videos, the uh, the longer website tutorial videos, uh, I'm using version four. And unfortunately, when version five came out, uh, even though it is much better, they changed the entire interface. So some of you are finding it uh, a bit difficult to kind of navigate around that. So as I say, I'm working on a client site now. I've got a couple of slides to, uh, I've got a new slide to make, and I've got one to edit. Uh, I'm doing some funky stuff with the text and, and all sorts of things. So hopefully you'll find this useful. If you've got any questions, as usual, obviously leave them below. Uh, but anyway, let's get on the computer and get started. Okay, so I'm over on a website that I'm working on currently. In fact, this website is gonna be featured in a new video that I've got coming up soon in terms of how uh, I made it. Let me just show you it, actually. Uh, it's nearly finished. I'm doing it for a client, but I thought I'd record it at the same time. Uh, it's using the fabulous X theme, which uses uh, comes with Revolution Slider, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this slide here, which is on Revolution Slider, and then I'm gonna add a, another one too. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So here's Slider Revolution. Um, version 5, it's got a different layout to before as I mentioned. Um, and here's my first slide, so I'm just going to click edit. What I want to do is just work uh, on the text for a second. So here's your main editing kind of area. You've got, uh, I've set a background image, I did that in here, just click change image. Um, if you want to add new stuff, you've got this add layer here, so text, images, whatnot, and then you can just drag and drop them as uh, where you like them. So I need to change this text. I'm changing it to uh, we pack it, you bake it. Let's so uh, let's uh, change that. It's lowercase actually. We pack it, you bake it. There we go. Uh, and I want to change the font, and I want to change. I want to get rid of this background uh, color. So to do that, to do the font, just go up here, and then you can. Oh no, this one here where it says Open Sans. That's where your font is. Uh, and the font I want is a Google font and it's called, where is it? Gloria, Alleluia. Because uh, we wanted a nice kind of handwritten font going on. Uh, so that's what we've got. So the next thing I want to do is just remove the background. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see the text on top. Let's have a look. So if you click this little down arrow, you get the advanced styles and in there, there is uh, background. I can just change that to clear. Uh, like that. It says it's transparent, but it doesn't look like it. Let's save and have a look at the, uh, the site. There we go. Now, uh, I think I want that a little bit bigger, so let's go back and adjust the font size. So I'm gonna go back to font. And then I'm gonna put this up to, I don't know, let's try 90. That might be too big, save. Often this preview is not um, always accurate, as you can see, so it's often best just to check it on the on the front of the site. Oh, that looks quite good. I think if I center it and then put the button in the center as well, that'll look quite good. Um, and then actually what the client wants to do is make some of this um, a slightly different color. So I'll do that too. So let's center it, uh, as I just said. So let's go back and what you can do to get things in pos position correctly, if you go up here, you can uh, go layer align center, that'll make it center. And the same with this, let's put that center. So that's all nicely lined up. Did I say, um, the client wants me to change the color of the text so that it matches their branding. So um, if we go to color here, if I just get the color code and paste that in. There we go, let's save that. Now that brown's not very clear, uh, unfortunately. So maybe if I add some sort of shadow or glow, that might help, so let's do that. So to add a bit of shadow to bring that text off the page a bit, I'm gonna go to Advanced CSS and Layer, then I'm just gonna add a little bit of CSS. It's a simple um, text shadow. Then you add the size, uh, which two pics should be fine, and then the color. It's gonna go for white, 
click save. There we go, and it's added a nice shadow, so that makes it a bit easier to read. Uh, another thing I need to do with some branding, my client likes these bits red, uh, green, sorry, so to do that, if I double click on here, so I need to add a little bit of code just to add this green as my client likes. So I'm just going to do a span tag. So span style equals color. And then I'm going to paste in the green. And then the close speech and that. And then add the span. It's only the it that we want. In fact, we don't just want the it. We want the here, yeah, the K as well. We just move this. So it's whatever is in between the two spans uh, is what's going to take effect. So like that, and also the K. Oh, this is very techy and <laughs> probably unnecessary for most of you. So uh, you could just skip past this. I just want to make this uh, K here again, like that, and like that. Don't ask. As you can see, it says kit. It's quite clever. It's branding and all that stuff. So um, there we go. Let's go back and refresh. That looks good. I just want to move that button down a bit. I think it's a little bit too close to the um, to the text. So back in here, grab hold of the button. So you can either drag it or there's the actual uh, precise um, coordinates of where it is up there if you want to be very uh, precise. I'm going to move that down. And then I'm going to just center it again because I moved it to the left, I think, a bit there. There we go, let's have a look and refresh. There we go. So next thing I'm going to add a second slide. So to do that I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to go to duplicate. I'm going to take what I've already got because it's very similar. Go on to uh, slide 2 to edit it. Let's click the little pencil. I need to change the image and change the text basically. So let's click change image and upload a new one. Here it is, slider two. The image is the same size as the uh, image used in the first one. There we go. And then I just need to change this text. This one doesn't have any colors. And it's simply dot dot dot. Let them all eat cake. Just like that. And again, I want to make sure that's centered. I think it is, that's fine. Click the tick. Click save. Now if we go back to the home page, hopefully we've got two sliders going on, or two slides. Hmm, maybe not. Let me just check the uh, slider settings. So if we go in here and slider settings. Ah, I think I s could see the problem. Is that slide turned on? No, it's not. So let's tick this little tick up here. Ah, I think it could be because the slider is set to be a hero uh, thing or whatever. So I think I need to change that to standard slider. Hero seems good for when you've got just the one slide. Uh, so now let's have a look. There's the first one. Nope, let's go back. Uh, I probably need to turn it on. It's, that's probably what it is. Hmm. Let's go into the slider settings, just double check everything is okay in here. So, standard slider and all the widths and everything are fine. General settings. Um, these all look fine. Um, turn on navigation, maybe that will help. Let's see. Shouldn't do it, should just uh, go through anyway. Let's. Uh, Oh, it is. It's working anyway. God, I was just being impatient. And it's not let them east cake. <laughs> There's a typo there. Um, but I can fix that. Anyway, that comes to the end of this video. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave them below. Um, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.